Good morning, good evening, and good night. No, I'm joking. Right, okay. So, hello. Um, I'm back with another video. This is my sister who has got extremely dry cuticles. I have explained that before, so you do have to excuse that. Um, but I am here to explain today because I have been listening to you guys. I have changed my music. <laughs> I am going to talk you through this. Okay, so <laughs> here we go. So I have already prepped her nails and applied the tips by prep. I have um, filed um, over the nail bed and so I have etched it. Um, I have cleansed it. I have applied my um, dehydrator and my prep and I have laid down on some of them a thin layer of acrylic. On this nail, I have gone in with, I think it is cherry blossom blush from CJP um, and I've just applied a full bead. I've started from the cuticle and then got my brush up behind it and pulled it down and patted it into place. On this second nail I'm going to do exactly the same thing again only I'm only going to put halfway up and then I'm going to blend it down into the tip because on this one we wanted to apply a little bit of a, a glitter um like sort of a whoosh a glitter whoosh <laughs> I don't know what else to call it um but yeah so just basically pop down your cherry blossom and make sure that your cuticle is all nice and snug um, I did go in with this a bit wet I don't know why I did that um, but just try and keep all your cuticles nice and tidy uh, clean round pat it pull it and it will blend down seamlessly if you do it properly just patting patty pat pat um, it doesn't matter either whether you go in and fill in a little at the end it makes no difference how many beads you use as long as you're happy with your outcome in the end um, I'm just going in with a little blob of clear acrylic there so my glitter will stick I did also pick my glitter up with a little tiny bead of clear as well um, just to make sure that it doesn't budge around too much when um, I come to cap it off but I will leave it to dry first so I'm just going to pop down my clear base on both of these nails and then we're going to go in with um, an acrylic cut on the pointer finger. Um, the reason that I put my clear base down is simply so then if I come to do an infill or a redesign I've got something to file back to and it also helps with adhesion as well because some of these colours that I'm using are just design powders and not core powders um, so on this one I'm just going to start off my acrylic cut by doing like a little half moon shape um, and I'm just coming in behind my bead like I normally would but I need to butt it up so then it's got like quite a high wall um, so then I can butt my next colour up to it and I'm going to use a file to reshape that as well I do try and get most of the shape with my brush but um, I do come in with a file just to make sure it is nice and crisp um, because that's what we do so we're just gonna leave that one to dry and then on this one I'm gonna do a full nail of jazzberry um, and I do generally this is how I apply generally I mean I know I did apply the other one from the cuticle up it doesn't matter how you apply it um, just whichever way you're comfortable and usually I do go in in um, the tip do that first and then do zone two and three um i don't know why i do it i just do it's easier it's comfortable um but lay down your bead pat it down pat it into shape um and just get it as smooth as possible because it'll just save you on filing later um, and I do want to take this opportunity to say hi to everyone again we are going up in subscribers still and I love you all and a special hello to my number one fan who is my niece Gracie Green love you love you love you love you she's so cute she like literally sends me messages to remind me how far I've got and she's just it's just so cute how proud she is of me i'm proud of you too i love you okay back to business so this one i will come in and cap off as i am going to do with these ones now so i'm just going to cap in clear 
Just because if you don't, you're going to be filing away all of your glitter and your hard work. So cap in clear and try and keep that also as smooth as possible. I don't cap from the back. The reason I don't cap from the back is because I've already pretty much got my apex anyway. And if I cap from the back, you will have a big ledge. And ledges were a nightmare for me when I like literally first started. I had big bumps at the back of my nails. And this is one of the reasons why you need to keep your brush behind your bead. Um, it does still happen. Try and keep everything as thin as possible until you're building your apex. If you feel like you've already got your apex there, don't build over the top because it will end up a big fat old nail and you will spend hours filing it back down again. Me here has made a boo-boo. So that there is a nice little patch of dry acrylic. I have tried to poke my brush in and wet that dry acrylic, but it didn't work. I did manage to file it out, um, pretty much all of it, by um, the end. But yeah, that was like one of the moments where I thought, oh my god, this is not going to work. Um, nightmare. So just make sure you haven't got any dry bits of acrylic on your brush because that can happen and it is a pain in the arse. So I've just gone in with my file there and filed that <clears throat> nice little straight line so then when I butt my black up it will not look shabby. I have actually got a tiny bit in this nail when I look at the pictures which is really annoying because it's not a perfectly straight line. Um, sometimes when you rush things, I mean bearing in mind I've been doing this a year now, I should be able to do this but I feel like some days I just have just crap nail days and they just don't go the way that I want them to. Um, my nail room was extremely cold um, and I just, that's all I could concentrate on, I'm not going to lie, I had a banging headache um, and I just could not concentrate for the life of me the other day and this is, I mean, I did alright, I'm not going to lie, they was okay but I want better than okay, I want just amazing. <laughs> Uh, and hopefully eventually I will get there one day um, but yeah you just got to keep trying and then one day you will be like Liz and that's Liz Guild by the way in case any of you didn't know I'm like huge Liz Guild fan she is just the bomb at nails um, but yeah one day you will be like these people um, and you've just got to keep trying bear with it persistence this is a full nail of um just cherry blossom blush um we couldn't decide what else to put on she wanted cool but not over the top so we decided to keep the thumb and the pinky plain so that's that i'm not going to cap these off because this car powder is strength so I don't need to cap this off so I am going to build my apex I'm going to make it as smooth as possible and then we're just going to file over this and top coat I am back with my file again now that that's dried and I am just going to file that into a nice crisp line but like I said there was a little kink in this that I didn't notice when I was doing it and it does show up so you really need to get these lines perfectly straight says me who messed it up but yeah that's why because I didn't get it perfectly straight so there you go bit of advice get it straight um once I've done this I'm going to go in with um the jasper and then i have got some glitter which is the same glitter as on the ring finger and that is a chocolate fudge from glitter planet uk i will leave you some links um so then you can go and check out these products cjp is definitely worth having a look at because it is such a good product it's just so nice to work with so easy the black is one of the best blacks i've used the white is just so white um and then the car powders the um cover pinks and they've got so many different shades of cover pink it's ridiculous but i own them all and i love them all as well so there you go So 
I am doing my best here. <clears throat> um, I don't claim to be a tutorial channel by far. This is not what I usually do. I am explaining this because it was requested. And like I said, I've also been requested to change the music as well. So I'm trying my best for you guys. If you do have any more requests, I will do my best. Um, but yeah, I don't do tutorials simply because I don't feel like I'm up to scratch in teaching you. I'm just giving you a talk through what I actually did. Whether it's the right way or the wrong way is another another thing. I just don't know. See, chucking glitter around there. Um, but yeah, I've picked this up, picked up my chocolate fudge with a bead of clear acrylic and it fell off my brush. <laughs> but once I've got it back on, all I'm going to do is pat it and push it into place. Make sure you get right down into your corners where you filed as well because otherwise it'll look naff. Um, and then once I've done that, I do cap that tip with clear acrylic the reason that i do that is because this nail does need filing um to get them crisp lines to show through um and if i filed straight over that glitter it would take the glitter off and you would have ball patches in i do know because this has happened to me before i see all these bad things have happened to me before if you've got something bad that's happened to you just ask me i'll tell you <laughs> i'll tell you if it happened to me or not and how i fixed it if i did fix it which i usually do but yeah most bad things as far as nails go has already happened so there you go so all that's left for me to do now is file these into shape, which I haven't left in the video because I already thought it was super long. Um, I'm going to file them into shape and then I'm going to top coat. And these are the finished products and I hope you enjoyed. I hope I got it right and I will see you again next time. Love you all. Bye.